Good morning. Let's look at a second uh, previous year question from basic numeracy. This is a question from CSAT 2025 examination. The question says three prime numbers P, Q and R each less than 20 are such that P minus Q is equal to Q minus R. How many distinct possible values can we get for P plus Q plus R? When you look at the word three prime numbers, you may get mistaken that this is a number system question. But if you approach it as a number system question, you will end up doing a lot of calculation unnecessary and you'll have to prepare random combinations of P, Q and R, which will waste a lot of your time. This question is actually not a question of number systems. This condition P minus Q is equal to Q minus R reminds me of arithmetic progression as p plus r is equal to 2q this equation shows that q is the arithmetic mean of p and r this means that p q and r form an arithmetic progression ap p minus q is equal to q minus r which is equal to d the difference let's consider the possible type of arithmetic progressions formed by prime numbers less than 20. take care that the question is asking for the number of distinct possible values of p plus q plus r question does not say that p q and r are distinct prime numbers so we actually have two cases p q and r can be same and equal or p q and r can be distinct and different let's look at case number one where prime numbers p q and r are all equal and this is a case of constant ap if p is equal to q is equal to r then p minus q will be equal to 0 and q minus r equal to 0 so the condition p minus q is equal to q minus r is satisfied and met in this case p q and r must be the same prime number less than 20 the possible values of p q and r are triplets of 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19 so the sum p q and r for each of these triples is 6 9 15 21 33 39 51 and 57 so if p is equal to q is equal to r then there are eight distinct possible sum values of p plus q plus r case number two where the prime numbers p q and r are distinct and this is a, becomes a case of non-constant ap now you can see that 7 minus 5 is equal to 5 minus 3 11 minus 7 is equal to 7 minus 3 19 minus 11 is equal to 11 minus 3 17 minus 11 is equal to 11 minus 5 19 minus 13 is equal to 13 minus 7 so we end up getting 1, 2, 3 and 4 values here. 15, 21, 33 and 39. So sum of P equal to Q equal to R uh, are 6, 9, 15, 21, 33, 39, 51, 57. Sums of distinct PQRs are 15, 21, 33 and 39. Union of both of these sets gives me 8 distinct sums. So the correct answer is option D which is more than 6 as a result of which we end up marking option D as the answer.